Hello, today I'm going to be giving you a guided tour of the AmberScan Connect software with the goal of getting you comfortable navigating AmberScan Connect. So after installing the AmberScan Connect software, by default, the software runs in what is called kiosk mode. This means that the software is running, however it is running in the background. To interact with the software while it's in kiosk mode, we want to go down to the system tray and then we right click on the AmberScan Connect icon. Here we can see our options for interacting with the software. The first option is quick scans. Quick scans are a preset scanning profile with settings such as color or front side, back side, so duplex mode, or Athena specific settings such as document type or face image attachment. With this, you can easily toggle between different quick scans depending on the type of document you are scanning through. These quick scans, if you want more information on the default quick scans, please watch the default quick scan video which goes over each and every quick scan in detail. If you want to see how to set up your own unique quick scans or modify these quick scans, watch the quick scan creation video or refer to the user guide. So the next option that we can select by right clicking on the icon in kiosk mode is scan settings. This brings up the settings for the AmberScan Connect software. These are the global settings for the application. They apply to all quick scans. And if you want more details on these settings, feel free to refer to the user guide. Um, it goes over each and every one of these. The next option, you can go from right clicking on the AmberScan Connect icon is the show option. This pulls up the full user interface for the AmberScan Connect software. To get back to kiosk or to get back to kiosk mode, you can click on this kiosk mode option. Then the last option you'll see down here is turn off auto scan. This allows you to disable the AmberScan Connect software from interacting with the scanner while it's still on and it also will allow you to turn it back on as well. This is if you wanted to use the scanner outside of the AmberScan Connect software, because once AutoScan is on, anytime you put a document or card into the scanner, it will start auto-feeding. So trying to use the scanner in a third-party application outside of AmberScan Connect is not possible while AutoScan is running. So let's show the full user interface. And the other way to get there to see the full user interface is double clicking on the AmberScan Connect icon on the desktop. So first we've got AutoScan here. That by default is on. However, you can click it and turn it off. This will allow you to select the Start Scan button. That will allow you to do a single scan without turning on AutoScan. You also have the option to toggle between different scanners uh, once auto scan is off with the choose scanner option. This software will remember the last scanner you had selected. So if you have multiple scanners, selecting the one that you wish to use and then closing the application, it will remember the last one you select. Kiosk mode, we've already gone over that one. It will put the software back into the kiosk mode. And then we've got the different quick scans that you can toggle between by selecting them. Now, quick settings, the tab here up at the top, allows you to go in and modify each of your quick settings or quick scans to do um, whatever you would like. And there's a more detailed video about setting up custom quick scans or editing quick scans. Feel free to refer to that if you are looking for info on to how to 
customize the quick scans to suit your needs. The next tab is manual for scanning outside of being connected directly to the Athena Net application. So if you needed to do a quick scan outside of Athena, the manual tab is a good place to do that. The file tab we'll go over is the about tab. From here you can deactivate your license, enter a new license, contact support, request a new feature, or get detailed info about the version and your serial number uh, in regards to the AmberScan Connect software. So, and then one last thing to show is if you click up here on the ball icon on the top left corner, you can also get to settings this way as well. And then lastly, if you click on the ball icon, you can also exit the software. And that will completely close down the AmberScan Connect software so it's no longer running. That is all that I wanted to cover today. If you have any further questions or need further info, feel free to watch other tutorial videos or contact Amber Support. Have a good day.